Hello, I'm Ty Wortman, high school principal at Zane Trace High School, and it's my privilege to welcome you to the Class of 2021 Senior Awards Ceremony. We have uh, lots of great recognition for our graduating seniors, and they are a very deserving class. It has not been easy this year. We've kind of been in limbo several times, but they have remained resilient and vigilant and uh, they certainly deserve everything they have coming to them uh, in the future. We have uh, many scholarships to award this evening. Some of them students are aware about. Some of the other ones will be a complete surprise. So uh, thank you again for joining us and uh, thanks for tuning in. Mrs. Myers, Zane Trace High School Counselor. Welcome to the Zane Trace Class of 2021 Awards presentation. The Class of 2021 has 85 candidates for graduation. 51% will be seeking additional education next year. 49% have received scholarships specific to the university. The estimated scholarship amount earned by St. Trace students beginning at a college or university in the fall of 2021, including those scholarships that have been earned that are renewable, is $1,462,576. Our students have been accepted to many colleges, universities, and technical schools. These include Ohio University, The Ohio State University, Xavier, Wittenberg, University of Cincinnati, University of Akron, Shawnee State, Otterbein, Kent State University, University of Dayton, Master Tattoo Institute, University of Finley, Marietta, Ohio Northern, Ohio Dominican, Wheeling, University of Mount Union, Wright State, Florida Gulf Coast, Ohio Wesleyan, Malone, Wilmington College, Alfred University, and Capital University. Heidelberg, Thomas Moore, University of Kentucky, West Virginia, Bowling Green, Youngstown State, Walsh University, Wingate, Lords University, University of Toledo, the College of Worcester, Rhodes State, Waynesburg, Eastern Michigan, Miami University, the University of Rio Grande, Mercyhurst, Marshall University, Allegheny College, Ohio Christian University, Olivet Nazarene, Muskingum, East Carolina, and Northern Kentucky. Ashland University, the Ohio State University, Newark, Transylvania, Capital, University of Missouri, Ohio University, Chillicothe, and Hawking College. Some of the majors and career paths that St. Trey students plan to pursue are business, allied health, tattoo artist, dental hygiene, EMT, HVAC, construction worker, education, underwater welding, fine art graphic design, criminology, exercise science, physiology, psychology, pre-dentistry, theater, law enforcement, communications, chemical engineering, programmer, zoology, education, real estate, pharmacy, nursing, biology, heavy machine operator, power lineman, computer science, and lawyer. The following students are graduating with an honors diploma. An honors diploma means that students meet certain criteria set forth by the Ohio Department of Education. Abby Alcorn, Jaden Berry, Taylor Brown, Alexis Guffey, Elizabeth Harbour, Reese Hartsaw, Victoria Hay, Lainey Hill, Alyssa Hauser, Hannah Kerr, Lauren Lane, Kata McKellen, Brendan Domowski, Kayla Park, Abigail Perry, Braden Phillips, and Tony Zang. Congratulations to those students. The following students have participated in post-secondary options while in high school. Reese Hartsaw, Rachel Burr, Lexi Betts, Gavin Woods, Ethan Clark, Bren Peters, Tony Zhang, and Abigail Perry. Congratulations to those students. These students have indicated commitments to continue their athletic career in college. Hannah Kerr, University of Akron, Cross Country and Track. Reese Hartsall, Wittenberg University, Cross Country, Indoor Track and Outdoor Track. Caden Fry, Otterbein University, Football. And Brody Tapman, University of Rio Grande, Baseball. Congratulations to those students. Congratulations, and it is with great honor to recognize Colt Andrews, who has made a commitment to enter the United States Marine Corps. Congratulations, Colt. The following students 
have earned scholarships to the following schools. Jerry Ebert, OUC Chillicothe, $1,200. The Catherine Hess and James Van Gundy Endowed Scholarship, worth $500. Brooke Harris, the Robert E. Schaefer Endowed Scholarship, worth $1,500. Victoria Hay, Mary Spencer Endowed Scholarship, $1,000. The OUC Freshman Merit, $1,000. The Capital Presidential Scholarship, $18,000. The UC Grant, $6,445. The UC Ohio College OPP Grant, FA, worth $1,000. And the UC Ohio College OPP Grant, SP, worth $1,000. Congratulations to those students. Congratulations to the following students who have earned the following scholarships. Brenda Namowski, The Shelley Company, $500. Ross County 4-H, $1,000. And The Ohio State Trustees Scholarship, $1,000. Lainey Hill, OSU Alumni Club, $1,000. The Ross County 4-H, $1,000. The Buzz Knowles Junior Achievement, $750. And The Red Cross, $2,500. Braden Phillips, the Freshman Excellence Award, $3,000, the Ohio Admission Promise Award, $2,000, and the OUC Distinction Scholarship, $2,837. Congratulations to those students. Congratulations to the following students for the following scholarships. Hannah Kerr, Athletic Scholarship, $1,000, Academic Scholarship, $3,500, the Confirmation Challenge Scholarship, $400. Nevea Gibson, the Ohio College OPP Grant, $1,000. Elizabeth Harbor, the Regent Scholarship, $5,000. Alexis Scuffy, the Chillicothe JCs, Ryan and Kathy Adams Community Legacy, $500. The Regent Scholarship, $2,500. And the Rocket Scholars Day Award, $500. Congratulations to those students on earning those scholarships. The following students have earned the following scholarships. Lauren Lane, Ohio State Trustee Scholarship, $1,000. Reese Hartsall, the Wittenberg Presidential Scholarship, $27,000. The Wittenberg Special Interest Award in Leadership, $2,000. The Otterbein President Scholarship, $15,500. Ohio Northern University, $22,000. Muskingum University, $18,000. And Shawnee State University, $12,000. Jonathan Falk, the A.V. Miller Scholarship, $16,000. The State Scholarship, $3,000. The Waynesburg University Grant, $1,000. The OUC Freshman Distinction, $2,837. And the Andy Stout Memorial Scholarship, $500. Congratulations to all of those students on earning those scholarships. Congratulations to the following students on earning the following scholarships. Caitlin McCord, the Ohio Admission Promise Award, $2,000. The Ohio Excellence Scholarship, $3,000. Caden Fry, the Alumni Scholarship, $8,000. Otterbein Opportunity Scholarship, $9,800. Kayla Park, Feast of the Flowering Moon Queen Scholarship, $500. Abigail Perry, the Ohio Excellence Scholarship, $2,500. Ohio Admission Promise, $2,000. Jaden Berry, the Regent Scholarship, $5,000 and the Rocket Advantage Scholarship, $3,900. Congratulations to those students on earning those scholarships. Congratulations to Abigail Alcorn. She has certainly spent a lot of hours completing scholarship applications and has certainly paid off. She has earned the following scholarships to Otterbein President Scholar Award, $15,000, the Otterbein Endowed Scholarship, $2,000. The CSU Merit Award, $3,500. The Ohio Admission Promise Award, $2,000. The Ohio Excellence Scholarship, $3,000. The OUC Merit Freshman, Freshman Scholarship, $1,000. The Ohio Forward Scholarship, $1,500. The Helen E. and Elmer W. Klaus Memorial, $1,000. The OU Pell Grant, $4,645. The Mary Spencer Endowed Scholarship, $1,000 and the Marietta Distinction Scholarship, $22,000. Abigail Alcorn, Kent State Academic Achievement Award, $3,500.
The St. Vincent de Paul Scholarship, St. John's University, $25,000. Explore New York Grant, St. John's University, $2,500. The Dean Scholarship from Ohio Northern, $18,000. The University of Freshman Academic Scholarship from Bowling Green State University, $3,500. The Branch Rickey Scholarship of Ohio Wesleyan, $30,000. The Dean's Scholarship from Xavier University, $20,000. The Dean's Merit Scholarship, University of Dayton, $20,400. The Green and Gold Scholarship from Wright State University, $1,500. And the Founders Scholarship, Transylvania University, $18,000. Congratulations, Abby. The following students have earned the following scholarships. Save Your Husband, Regionals Merit Scholarship, $1,000. Regional Academic Excellence, $1,500. Gavin Woods, the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 18, $3,000. Congratulations on those students for earning those scholarships. And this is just a friendly reminder to the seniors. Please take time and write a thank you note for any scholarship or gift that you receive for graduation. It means a lot to the people who are giving to hear what you're going to do with that gift. So please take the time and write a thank you note. And this ends my presentation. I just want to give a thank you to everyone who has helped me um, with this crazy school year go as smoothly as possible. And it has been a great honor to watch these students go from little second graders to seniors in high school. I know you all will go on to do great things. So congratulations and good luck to the class of 2021. Hi, I'm Scott Graham. I'm the executive director of the Chillicothe Ross Community Foundation, where we connect people who care with causes that matter. And today we're at Zane Trace High School to make some wonderful presentations for uh, your awards night. Well, I'm with the principal of the school, Mr. Ty Workman. Mr. Workman, kind of an exciting time. It is. This is always one of my favorite times of the year, I think, when we get to award scholarships. And I think in all six of these cases, these are kids that don't know that they're receiving these awards. So. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, let's get it started. Hey, our first scholarship is from the first class, the very first class from Zane Trace, the first class from the class of 1966. And that first class winner today receiving a scholarship of $1,966. It's going to go to Lanny Hill. Lanny Hill. So. Con congratulations, Lanny. What do you know about Lanny? Great student. She's involved in, in a ton of different things. She was uh, a pumpkin show, Miss Pumpkin Show nominee last year. Wow. A multi-sport athlete, uh, couldn't ask for a finer, finer girl to win this one. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we have two winners for the very next scholarship. It's the Roy Congrove Jr. Memorial Scholarship. It's a scholarship that's been established here at Zane Trace for many, many years. And we have two winners there. Mr. Wortman. Well, this Roy Congrove one, is, it's, it's a great scholarship and it's been around for a long time. The people associated with it are such great people. They work tirelessly and I think they've made it one of the finer scholarships in the area. Two winners for this year, Miss Hannah Hale and Miss Laney Hill. $1,000 scholarships for each of them. That's the Ed Umstead Memorial Scholarship. And there are, this is actually a Pickaway County and a uh, Ross County Scholarship. So students from, from all over the two counties are eligible for this. And we have a winner for that and the winner is our winner is Justin Streitenberger. Um, I'm very excited for this. I know Justin attends the vocational school. He's been on the job site uh, most of the year, and next year he's going to college. It's the first time we've ever had someone uh, go for this program, underwater welding. Wow. So uh, I'm very excited for Justin, and, and congratulations to him for winning this one. Congratulations. A brand new scholarship that just has uh, come about here for Zane Trey School through the Chillicothe Ross Community Foundation is the Terry Fry Scholarship. And we're just so thrilled to be able to do the inaugural announcement of that one. And it's two wonderful students here from your, from your school. Very, very good students. Uh, our first winner is Justin Streitenberger. And our second winner is Brendan Namofsky. So wow. congratulations to both of them. Congratulations, $1,000 each. Another brand new scholarship to this year is the Kara Tenor Teague Scholarship. Kara was a swimmer here at Zane Trace. 
some time ago. Uh, early 90s, and I remember you, you would follow, because she was a tremendous swimmer, you would follow uh, in the newspaper how she would do. We didn't have a swimming pool, we didn't have a swimming team, uh, but she represented Zane Trace while swimming at Chillicothe. So, uh, kind of a, a really cool story. So we have two scholarship winners for the Kara Tanner Teague scholarships, the $1,000 scholarship this year. Laney Hill once again, and Elizabeth Harbour, uh, who I know served as one of the team captains and never missed a practice all year long. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, congratulations to them. Well, that leaves us with just a few other scholarships. Maybe you might want to chat about some of these. Uh, well, the Kim Knapp Morton Scholarship, as well as the Pete Dunkel Scholarship, are two scholarships that mean a tremendous amount to me. Two of the most insightful human beings uh, I've, I've been proud to know in my life. Uh, great conversations with both of them, um, and again, it, it makes me very proud to award these, these two scholarships. Wonderful. Tell us about them. Um, the first one is the Pete Dunkel Scholarship. That is just established this year. We lost Mr. Dunkel uh, earlier in 2021. Longtime superintendent, principal, educator, coach, friend, sausage booth worker, you <laughs> name it, Mr. Dunkel did it all for Zane Trace. Uh, the winner for the, that scholarship is Alexis Guffey. She Congratulations, is also Alexis. A class valedictorian wow. uh, and uh, very involved with the boosters. Her parents have always uh, done a ton and worked very closely with Mr. Dunkel. Wonderful. And then you have the Kim Knapp Morton Scholarship. Uh, again, I can't. I could. I could sit here and tell stories about Mrs. Morton all day long. Some of my favorite memories in life uh, come from sitting in her kitchen. Uh, but our winner for that, once again, Laney Hill. And uh, I, I think it's a great winner, and Mrs. Uh, Morton would have would have really enjoyed Lanny. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, congratulations to all those winners from the Chillicothe Ross Community Foundation. Once again, where we connect people who care with causes that matter. Thanks again to the Chillicothe Community Foundation. Uh, great to work with you, Scott. Thank and, you. Uh, again, I look forward to this every year. We'll look forward to it. Thank you. Our next scholarship is the Tristan Miller Music Scholarship, and that comes from the Tristan Miller Foundation. It is one that is very near and dear to my own heart. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about this family and the work they've done to raise mental health awareness in Ross County, Ohio, and uh, all that they have done for me and for uh, Zane Trace in general. So it is my absolute privilege to award the following students with the $500 Tristan Miller Music Scholarship. Laney Hill, Brendan Amovsky, Kayla Park, Justin Streitenberger. Congratulations, guys. Our next scholarship comes from the Columbus Foundation. It is the Mary Sibrel Raider Award and each year they notify us how much money that we are able to award uh, per class. This year, I think the chunk was $5,000. And so Mrs. Myers and I have to decide how we're going to divide that up. We just decided with a nice round number like that, we are going to award each member of the top 10 of the graduating class with a $500 scholarship. So congratulations to the following students. Alexis Guffey, Jaden Berry, Taylor Brown, Tony Zhang, Elizabeth Harbour, Reese Hartsall, Hannah Kerr, Brendan Namofsky, and Lauren Lane. Again, $500 from the Mary Sibrel Raider Scholarship. Our next scholarship is one that I just found out about today. It comes from the Caring Hearts Organization of Chillicothe and they would like to award a $1,000 scholarship to Kayla Park. Again, $1,000 to Kayla Park from the Caring Hearts Organization of Chillicothe. Hi, my name is Angie Lockbaum. I'm representing Ross County 4-H, and we are giving out scholarships. My first one they'll receive $1,000 is Laney Hill, and Brendan Namoski will also receive $1,000. We pick these two 4-H members for their outstanding community service and the leadership skills that they have done through their 4-H year. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Karen House, and I am a member of Chapter EA to the PEO Sisterhood in Chilkati, Ohio. PEO is an international organization founded by 
seven women in 1869 with the purpose of helping women achieve their goals through education. In 2009, the STAR Scholarship was established for outstanding high school senior girls. And they're noted for their excellence in leadership, academics, extracurricular activities, community service, and potential for success. Last year, over 2,200 applications were received and 700 plus girls were awarded the star. This year, our candidate, Miss Laney Hill, won a star scholarship. And we are so pleased and happy for Miss Laney and wish her all the very best at OSU. You started a great tradition and we will continue to support you throughout this next year and beyond. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lori Clark. I'm a 1980 graduate of Zane Trace High School and the Zane Trace Alumni Association president. I wanna congratulate all the 2021 seniors and wish you the best of luck. I have three scholarships to present. The first is the Wendy Arth Memorial Scholarship for $1,000 and that goes to Hannah Kerr. Congratulations, Hannah. Now I have two $500 scholarships from the Zane Trace Alumni Association. And the first one goes to Jaden Berry. Congratulations, Jaden. And the second one goes to Caitlin McCord. Congratulations, Caitlin. We here at the Alumni Association wish you all the best of luck. Goodbye. Good evening. My name is Paul Cuthbert. I'm Vice President of Sales with the Shelley Company. It's my honor to present the Shelley Company's Community Scholarship to a deserving senior at Zane Trace High School. The Shelley Company is a leading aggregate, ready mix, and asphalt paving company with more than 90 locations and 1,600 employees. Each year, our scholarship program recognizes more than 20 seniors from high schools across the state of Ohio for their hard work in the classroom and in the community. Today, I'm proud to announce that Brandon Nowalski is the 2020 recipient of the $500 Shelley Company Community Scholarship. Congratulations and good luck in your college career. Thank you. My name is Christy Landman, and I created the Joseph Landman Memorial Maid Scholarship after I lost my son in 2017 to an overdose. Maid is a wonderful organization, and I really believe in it. And if you could read the essays that the students write, you believe you understand that they believe in it too. Um, this year, I'm awarding two of the scholarships to Zane Trace students. One of those students is Laney Hill, and the other student is Justin Strattenberger, who is also a Pickway Ross graduate. Congratulations and good luck to all the class of 2021. Hi, my name is Nate Jarrell. I am the new president for the Athletic Boosters. This year we have seven student athletes that will receive a $300 scholarship from our booster program. These athletes are Alexis Guffey, Laney Hill, Reese Hartsall, Caitlin McCord, Kayla Park, Jaden Berry, and Lauren Lane. My team and I would like to congratulate these student athletes and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Myers, Zane Trace High School counselor. I have a couple of scholarships that I need to award. The first scholarship is the Raymond J. Pack Scholarship, which was founded in 1998 and is funded by the Peter J. Blosser Scholarship Trust Foundation, where Mr. Pack served on the board. Mr. Pack was also a very respected teacher. He was very instrumental in establishing Pickway Ross Career and Technology Center while overcoming obstacles of being physically challenged. Mr. Pack was a very respected teacher and had a very positive influence on many Ross County students. This scholarship goes to Victoria Hay and Caitlin McCord for $1,000. Congratulations. The next scholarship goes to Alexis Guffey for $500. The scholarship is from the Chillicothe JCs 
Ryan and Kathy Adams Community Legacy Scholarship. The scholarship is community driven. The primary principles are community service, extracurricular school achievement, achievement of higher education, and academic achievement in the school. Congratulations, Alexis. The last scholarship goes to Laney Hill for $1,000. The scholarship is from the Logan Elm number 624 Masonic Lodge. Congratulations, Laney. Hi, I'm Kate Waller, the Zane Trace Band Director. I want to announce the winner of our Zane Trace Band Booster Scholarship this year goes to Bethany McDaniel. I also want to announce a few of our band senior awards. The Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award goes to the very humble hot dog, Logan Betts. The National Marching Band Award is going to Bethany McDaniel. She has been the percussion section leader for three years, and I think she has definitely earned it. The John Philip Sousa Award is going to someone who has been extremely dedicated, a wonderful role model, and just brings joy to our class every day and to the entire program. Um, and it's going to our field commander from this year, Xavier Hespin. Thank you, seniors, for everything from the past, you know, 11 years. <laughs> and best of luck in everything you do. Congratulations. National Honor Society advisor, it is an honor to recognize one of our students for showing outstanding commitment to the volunteer blood donor program. Here in the 33 county region of Central Ohio, the Red Cross helps to serve the blood donors every day to meet the needs their patients they serve. High schools are vital to the Red Cross as they provide 20% of their blood supply. This year, under the guidance of myself and Mrs. Jill Gillett and the commitment of the student body, the number of units that blood collected here at Zane Trace has impacted 651 lives. Zane Trace has collected more units this year than any other public high school in Pickaway, Ross, Fayette, and Highland counties. On behalf of the patients served by the American Red Cross who depend on these life-saving blood donations, the Red Cross says thank you to every student, staff, and family member who has helped support our school's blood drive. The Drive to Serve Scholarship Program was created to honor students who serve their community, primarily in the area of volunteer blood donor program. This year, the American Red Cross is proud to present the Drive to Serve Scholarship to Laney Hill in the amount of $2,500. Congratulations, Lainey. Job well done. Hi there. I have some awards to give out for this year. I'm Mrs. Corcoran. You all know who I am. Uh, it's been a, been a really weird year, a tough year, but we made it. And I think a better year than last year, for sure. Um, have some awards for statistics. Somebody who uh, stayed in class, worked hard, did her, did her all, even maybe when she didn't feel like it sometimes. Um, Alexis Guffey gets the Statistics Award. And for Calculus, uh, somebody who always seemed to get it, even though she said maybe she didn't, her work shows otherwise. And she's been a really hard worker, and that is Taylor Brown. Congratulations to everybody. I've loved having you all in class. It's been a fun year, and I wish the best of luck to all of you. Love you all. Hi, my name is Jason Clark, and um, I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. And I am now going to um, present the Biology 2 Award to a very hardworking and dedicated student. The award this year goes to Hallie Scott. Congratulations to you and to your classmates. Good luck in your future. Hi, I'm Mr. Scott. I have a couple of senior awards to give away today. Uh, the first award is for physics, and this was a um, very difficult calculation to make. The top grades were very close to one another, uh, five or six grades right there at the very top. Uh, this award for physics, though, this year goes to Jonathan Folk.
The second award is for astronomy. And this award uh, goes to a student who's always participating, always doing their work on time, um, really engages in the discussion in the, the class. And this award goes to Victoria Hay.